am I so confused about the facts that are obvious? So we have to really ask which Hala Selassie are you talking about? Because there's a Hala Selassie that's actually mentioned in His Majesty's um, autobiography. You understand? And he was a traitor. You understand? And his name was Hala Selassie. He was not Kedamawi Hala Selassie. That's another reason why we should be very specific when we say, you understand, Hala Selassie, because I and I even have a brethren. No, we got a brethren whose name is Hala Selassie. Mm -hmm. That guy's name is Hala mm. Selassie because of, uh, like, the parents. He was a title. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Well, 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 well thank you. You speaking about the? You speaking about our Hala Selassie? You speaking about the individuals that we know? Mm. Oh well, this individual. Mm. Okay, okay, okay. I get you. Yeah. Well, this individual. Yeah, this individual though it's spelled a little differently. Um, to my Hala Selassie Guksa, Hala Selassie Guksa, who was Deja's match, was Deja's match, and he's on page 166 of His Majesty's Autobiography, Book 1, on page 243, on page 246 to, to uh, 50, to 250, so on page um, 166, so when people say Hala Selassie, who, which Hala Selassie are you talking about? You understand? Uh, it's easy to assume, but there are other individuals who are named Hala Selassie, even in, let's get this, this part of the book right here, even in the time of his imperial majesty, there's uh, another individual here who is speaking about a, a woman who died. It says, I'm intending to be a modern example to the people when our daughter, Princess Zeneba, Zenebe work died, and next to Zenebe work, it has a footnote 13. She died before the Italian Ethiopian War, not long after her marriage to Deja's match, Hila Selassie Guksa. So we have a Hila Selassie Guksa as well. So when these liars and slanderers and these jinn or Ghanaian want to slander against his imperial majesty, these Kahadi, um, these, these, uh, these deniers want to deny his imperial majesty's honor and his imperial majesty's glory, and they say Hala Selassie or some Selassie or something like that. Who are you talking about? Here it says on page 243 of his imperial majesty's autobiography, you understand, it says right about here, you understand, in his imperial majesty's autobiography, right around here where I thumb is, it says, um, it says this, after we had heard about the death of Grazmach, Afawark, and the occupation by the Italians of uh, Gorahe, news also reached us that the Italians on the northern front were pushing on from Adwa toward uh, Mekale, and that the governor of Mekale, Dejazmach Haile Selassie Guksa, had betrayed his mother country, Ethiopia. So Hala Selassie Guksa betrayed his mother country, Ethiopia, and us, his emperor, and had gone over to the Italians. In consequence, we made Desi our headquarters since we intended to wait while finding out about the position of the armies on the northern and southern front before proceeding to Desi, we went down by plane to um, Jijiga um, on the 9th of uh, Khidar, which was the 19th of November, 1935. And there's a, there's a footnote here, and it says, um, he was son of Ras Guksa Araya. In other words, this other Haile Selassie, the other Hila Selassie. We need to understand there's a other Hila Selassie. Perhaps this other Hila Selassie was some sexual deviant. That's probably why he might have gone on to the Italians because, you know, they don't have a problem with that, you know saying, in their society so much. You know saying, since they actually said that the greatest in Europe, the greatest amount of people who are into the occult and witchcraft and magic, 
we saw this on a couple of documentaries. One in particular we recall right now is in Italy. In, in other words, where the greatest amount of black magic and, 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 and so-called evil magic and witchcraft and ritual activities are going on in Europe is actually Italy, the very same place where the, um, the, Romanist, the Romanist headquarters is located. But this um, son of Ras Guxa Araya, he was a grandson of Emperor Johannes, of Emperor Johannes. Haile Selassie Guxa, he married the emperor's daughter, Zenebe Work. He flirted. He flirted with the Italians on many occasions. And soon after the Italian invasion, in October 1935, he betrayed his country and crossed over to the enemy. After the war, he was condemned to life imprisonment, and it says, see chapter, see chapter 37. So if we go to chapter 37, um, and it says there's a whole chapter, and you can see this right here, chapter 37. This is the other Haile Selassie. This is probably the sexual deviant and, and ritualist they're talking about, and not our father, you understand, because he first of all betrayed his country. That means he was he was liable to do anything. But the similarity of name, it's like in the Bible there is Jesus Christ or Jesus Christ, and in the very same Bible there's a sorcerer whose name is um, Bar Jesus. You understand, Bar Jesus. If you look it up, there's a Bar Jesus in the Bible, and he was a sorcerer. I think he was down with Simon Magus and some of those other characters and cats back then who thought that the Holy Spirit, the gifts, could be purchased with money. You understand? But there's a whole chapter devoted, in a sense, to this traitor who happened to have a similarity of name with our Godfather. And his name was Dejus Match Haile Selassie Guxa. In chapter 37 of the autobiography of Emperor Haile Selassie I, of Ketamawi Haile Selassie I, basically speaks about him and speaks about his treachery. In fact, down here, just a little more of this, it says, Dejus Match Haile Selassie is a son of the Tigrayan, or Tigrayan, Prince Ras Guxa Araya. Being the son of a prince, he had married our daughter, Zenebe Work. But when only about a year had passed since marrying her, by misfortune, both his wife and his father had died in quick succession to each other, and he had thus fallen into deep grief. But although his wife and his father had died, we had no thought of lowering, lowering him in rank and, in fact, gave him his father's governorate in, in, uh, in, in Darta, in Darta, in Darta, Agame, Bora, and uh, Selawa, as well as authority over Ida Mahone and the two Aulalo regions, Aulalo regions. We also directed that he should reside in the chief city of Mekale. And he goes, his master goes through a very, a very um, balanced, a very balanced um, report here. His master could have said a lot of things here. Imagine you have somebody that not only betrayed you and is from a royal or noble background and married your daughter, but also has your very same name. You understand? People could say, how embarrassing could that be? But His Majesty has great dignity in dealing with this treacherous traitor who happened to have his very own namesake. So when these individuals go around saying, Hala Selassie did this and Hala Selassie did that, so forth and so on, uh, we don't know what Hala Selassie you're talking about, especially if they do not give him his proper honors. It shows that they are not very honorable people because even here his imperial majesty and Ethiopia but his majesty being dishonored by this traitor still gives him some sense and semblance of, of honor. His majesty is more dignified than this um, Haile Selassie Guxa. His father Ras Guxa and Ras Siyum had lived in mutual envy 
you see, you, you see, you, you see, you, you see this right here. We, we, we thought we got off of this subject matter. We kept this on the board, but we thought we got over the subject matter. What is it, is in Pearl telling us about a namesake, a traitorous namesake? You understand? If he could betray his country, betray his heritage, then he probably betrayed a lot of other kind of things too, and confused and and lying people. Most likely, maybe maybe his his mother was was some prostitute or something like that. Who knows if his father dealt with merchandise or something like that for the Arabs? But we know it's not his imperial majesty, Haile Selassie, nor his father, nor his mother. That we do know. But his father, Haile Selassie Guksa's father, Ras Guksa and Ras Siyum, they had lived in mutual envy and distrust about the headship of the Tigra. And now, since he was still young, two small districts from the extensive governorate which his father had held were added to Ras Siyum's domain. He took this as a pretext and progressively made plain his hostility toward Ras, Gu Ras Siyum, meaning to carry on the quarrel that had been started by his father. So we see these particular individuals are also trying to do this very same thing. While we proclaim peace, you understand, the Israelite peace, as we come upon this city, as we come upon the Horn of Africa, Ionias, Ethiopian, Hebrews, and Rastafari are doing exactly what um, Deuteronomy chapter 18 says and those chapters around there. Declare peace to them. Lay down the law. Allow them to know what is to come and allow them a free and democratic right to choose. You understand? But some want to carry on these old quarrels that had been started by their, their so-called fathers. Our father is a man of peace, is the peacemaker. You understand? And that is proven. You understand? That is even his enemies, the enemies of Ketamari Hala Selassie. Many of them are forced to admit that as well. But the Italians... The Italian, the Italians, the Ital, Italachualo, had been laying it down in their preparatory planning that they might be able to take Ethiopia without recourse to military force. They thought they could take Ethiopia um, by um, cloak and dagger kind of conspiracy. By inciting, by inciting, this is just like Ebchari, uh, like it says, like the devil, he stirs up brothers, he stirs up warfare and conflicts. Um, by inciting the important men to mutual enmity, a characteristic, another characteristic of Diablos and the Aganint and the Ghanain and the Jinn and the John and all of them. And by inducing them to desert the emperor, to desert Negusa Negest, Abatachin. Thus, when they heard about the quarrel that had been started between Dejah's match, Haile Selassie, and Aras Siyun, they began exchanging messages with the former, with Haile Selassie, or Dejah's match, Haile Selassie, not Kedamawi Haile Selassie, the Nagusa Neges. They began exchanging messages with the former, the Dejah's match, Haile Selassie. Some people gave us this news, but we discounted the reports directed against him and did not suspect that a man who claimed, who claimed, in other words, one's word was their bond, he claimed to be a descendant of Emperor Johannes, would betray Ethiopia because Emperor Johannes had lost his life, literally lost his head to the black Arab pseudo-African Mohammedan of Sudan, the Mahdiyas. He lost it. They, they chopped off his head and, and, and paraded it through Khartoum, uh, which is the capital of Sudan. Not something that many Ethiopians like to say, but it is, it is the truth. So we do have our issues. You understand? But His Majesty discounted these reports that were directed against Dejah's match Haile Selassie and did not suspect that a man, Dejah's match Haile Selassie, not Kedamawi Haile Selassie, who claimed to be a descendant of Emperor Johannes, would betray Ethiopia. Whatever the circumstances, for Emperor Johannes had been an opponent. He had been an opponent of the Italians. 
he had been against the Italian. So how would a descendant who claimed honor by virtue of being descendant from this great man, this emperor of Ethiopia, would then betray Ethiopia? Lest this calumny, calumny that had been rumored against him should be revealed, he used to write to us as follows. Now, his majesty putting everything together, saying that unless this should be revealed, um, they just match um, Haile Selassie, used to write to Edamawi Haile Selassie as follows, quote, If by any chance the Italians should invade us by military force, I shall resist them to the utmost in my province of Agame until I die, end quote. This is what he used to write his imperial majesty. Because he probably already knew that, uh-oh, uh-oh, this might get out. So I need to pledge my loyalty and support to the king, even falsely, right? My namesake, Haile Selassie, in other words. He sent further messages to say, quote, I have exchanged messages with the soldiers of the Hamasian, the Hamasian. And they said that this can only refer to Eritreans recruited into the Italian forces. Those are the ones wearing the fez, you know, like the West African and Nollywood characters, that red cap and stuff, um, and the other cap, the Phrygian cap of liberty or something like that, solidarity, the one that bends over on the side. The, um, the, the, these are the ones, the Hamasian. They're called the Hamasian. And have arranged that they should desert and come over to us. This is how he was writing to his imperial majesty on the eve of the... Italian fascist Romanist Antichrist invasion of Holy Ethiopia. Later he wrote, quote, those soldiers with whom I have communicated have come over to me, end quote. This is what he wrote to his majesty. A second piece of evidence which he offered for his loyalty was concerning his accusation against Dejizmach Kabada Aragao, Arago. His father's brother, in other words, his father's brother, the substance of this accusation was as follows. And just, just briefly, there's more. We're not going to go through all of this here, but it's, it's very, very much interesting. He wrote this. He says, This is much Kabeda Arago is not loyal to our government. The fact which proves this is his constant exchange of correspondence with the Italians. Having discovered a letter by which he entered into such communication, I have been able to lay my hands on it. Further, he sent his two sons to Asmara, Asmara and arranged that they should receive their education from the Italians. Therefore, please send a plane to me, for it would be best if he were to come to your majesty. If not, he will cause me difficulties by making propaganda for the Italians here. The letter which I have obtained, I had to purchase for money from the hands of one of his intimates. It probably means he want to get something for that. You know what I mean? It sounds like a, a Nollywood movie in a sense. With the, now, now, that's the end of the quote. With the intention of ascertaining the truth of this matter. So his majesty now receiving this really had to ascertain what is the truth. And it was on this rush to judgment, but really to weigh and balance and get evidence before saying, yes, it's true, or no, it's not true. He says, we told him to send the letter to us. After he had done so, we had Dejizmach Kabada brought to Addis Ababa by plane. By his acting in this manner, it seemed to us that all the suspicions against Dejizmach Haile Selassie were untrue. And we neglected the matter. And I was his master taking full responsibility for himself and his government because this was known to others. Others probably said, yes, he is a traitor. We need to do something. As Max said, we don't have the evidence. Recognizing with two or three witnesses, every matter can come to judgment. But without these two or three witnesses, you understand, then one needs to proceed with caution, especially when we're talking about people, their lives, their property, and others who are related to them who will suffer 
you understand, um, by consequence of such judgment. But when we were told about the Italians entering Adwa and Agame, we also heard that he had confiscated the weapons of the men from Hamasian who had come over to our side and had arrested them. So some Eritreans, you understand, and ones who were on the Italian side had come over to the King of Kings side, but they were almost like double betrayed in a sense, you understand, because of the treachery of Haile Selassie's namesake, Dejizmach Haile Selassie. So he goes to um, who was dispatched, uh, a set of um, officials were dispatched, and they set up camp near Mekale and transmitted to us by telegram the following message. To Haile Selassie I, Emperor of Ethiopia, Dejismach Haile Selassie, whom you trusted, has betrayed his mother. So that meant he was a real motherfucker in that sense. He betrayed his mother, you understand, Ethiopia, and his father, the Emperor, Negusa Neges, his namesake, Kedamawi Haile Selassie, and had made it known by proclamation that he had gone over to the Italians. The army of Weg, or Wag, or Weg alone, fighting at Mekale, will not be able to repulse the Italian invader who claims that he will take the whole of the country. It would therefore be well if troops armed as much as possible were to come over to us, end quote. Now, his majesty says here that many of Haile Selassie Gux's officers left him at once, declaring, quote, or declaring, for the sake of our faith and our history, we shall not fight our emperor. We shall not fight Negusa Negestachim jointly with the Italians and deliver Ethiopia, Ethiopia into the hands of Ferenjoch or foreigners, Afrengi. By their coming to us, we were finally convinced of the truth of his treachery. A servant of his who had deserted him and had loyally come over to us because Dejismach Haile Selassie had betrayed his country and surrendered to the Italians, gave us the following report. And this is very important that we speak about this other Haile Selassie, because we suspect that since a lot of these people don't really study and show themselves approved, they look up some stuff, they come across the Haile Selassie there, and they say, oh, that is his majesty. So anything that, quote, uh, Haile Selassie did, they attribute to his imperial majesty. And this is a case of in the time of his imperial majesty, there's another Haile Selassie. I'm sure the Italians probably gassed up his head that we will make you the emperor. You will be the real Haile Selassie. And perhaps he fell for that. But one of the servants said this, and this is interesting to add into this particular report. Said that, quote, when my master, Dijismat Haile Selassie, went to Asmara for medical treatment or in order to go by boat to Addis Ababa, the Italians used to tell him, quote, we shall wage war on Ethiopia. After destroying Ras Siyun, we shall place you on your father's throne. So therefore he was a king and make you king of the whole Tigra, of the whole of Tigra. Now imagine that. Think about that for a moment. So he was thinking that he would be king, Haile Selassie. What a fool. They also used to show him the multitude of their cannons, their machine guns, their aeroplanes, as well as the modern make of their rifles. Thus, on one hand, they would give him hope of obtaining the whole of Tigra, in other words, the divide, the divide et impira, you understand, of the Roman Empire, the divide and conquer, and on the other would make him afraid in view of his tender age when he observed the mass of Italian military equipment, end quote. The fact which establishes the truth of this together with what we have said above is that when Dejismach Haile Selassie defected and got mixed up with the Italians, General De Bono issued a proclamation in his favor, 
Now, 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 this also all ties into it. So General De Bono of the fascist, Romanist, Antichrist invaders issued this proclamation in favor of the other Haile Selassie, of Dejah's match Haile Selassie, quote, saying, declaring, by the command of H.M., His Majesty King Victor, and the Duce, or the Dunce, El Duce, Monsignor Mussolini, we have assigned to you the whole of Tigra up to the Allah, water, and have nominated you Ras. We, the times now, were nominating who was to be Ras. I mean, think about all the things going out of whack. You understand? Upside down. This is war in heaven, my brothers and sisters. However, after their designs had been accomplished, they did not even give him Mekale. After the Italians had achieved by his treachery their designs, they did not even give him Mekale. They didn't even give him a little piece, a little piece. After he betrayed his mother, Ethiopia, and became a motherfucker, you understand, in the realest sense of the word. Francis Crest, Dr. Francis Crest Wells sings her definition of the motherfucker and the original motherfucker being in I and I mind. So please check that out as a reference. And after betraying his father, our father, Nugus and the guests, the Italians didn't even give him Mekale, his father's seat. They didn't even give him what his father had previously, let alone the whole of Tigre let alone that whole province right there. After the Italians had accomplished the desertion of Dejah's match, Haile Selassie, they believed that other great officers would desert and go over to them, and that on these grounds the hearts of our soldiers would be panic-stricken. But in fact, there was no one, officers or men, who was stunned or made afraid by his treachery, apart from detesting and hating him, hating this particular Haile Selassie, who is not our Haile Selassie, Kedamawi Haile Selassie, but who has a namesake, a like name, like Bar Jesus, you understand, was similar to Jesus Christ, but he was, as his Matthew says, declaring, this is the brother of Judas Iscariot. This is. And ain't that something? So the brother of Judas Iscariot has a similar name to the king of kings, just like a sorcerer named Bar-Jesus had a similar name to Jesus Christ. And still a lot of people get confused. So a lot of these lies and slanders, I think they're talking about Dejah's match, Hila Selassie, and not Kedamawi, Hila Selassie. They call him king, too, because the Italians promised him kingship and never gave it to him. That 30 pieces of silver bit, right? After he had announced his desertion, our officers were approaching Mecca Lane. And while his chiefs and servants were getting in touch with our officers, they determined to try to catch him. But when he heard this, he left Mekale at 7 o'clock or at 1 a.m. During the night of the 30th of Meskaran or the 11th of October 1935, together only with, with up to 50 of his retainers and joined up with the Italians, having gone by way of uh, Edgar Hamus. Those men from the Hamasain who had deserted from the Italians and whom he had detained in prison at Mekale got out of prison as soon as he had escaped and joined up with our men. So here we say about those true Eritreans, we have to compliment them. They were on the Italian side. They believed Hala Selassie's namesake, Dejah's match, Hala Selassie Guksa. They went over to him thinking they'd be on the side of the King of Kings. He took their guns. He arrested them. But then when they finally got their freedom, they joined the right side. They joined the righteous side of the battle. So we have to say, say hallelujah for those um, Eritreans, you understand, who understood, you understand, the, the right from the wrong. But the last paragraph of this chapter, and we went through the whole chapter, though that wasn't our intent, but we are happy that we went through. The last paragraph is right here. After he had made common cause with the Italians, in other words, after he was in bed with the Italians, and I don't want to think what the Italians, you know, did to him because of his tender age. 
You understand? Even after they didn't give him anything, he still ran and caught it with the Italians. He remained until the end of the war in fear of his own servants and countrymen. He, he went crazy. You understand? He absolutely went buck wild, stark raving mad. Going about the country at times in Mekale, another time to Agame or Edgar Hamus and again to Ottawa, taking extreme precautions and guarding himself like a murderer. But in not a single place did he join battle with our soldiers in a fight. We do not think that foreign historians, let alone natives of Ethiopia, will ever forget the story of his treachery. It must not be thought that he who betrays his mother will benefit his nurse. <laughs> so, more to come. Stay tuned. Salam. Shalom.